Hello again and welcome to another edition of Crop Life Retail Week. I'm Eric Svilogoy, editor of Crop Life Magazine. Here flying solo this week. Uh, the rest of our group are out in Arizona at the moment at the Precision Ag Vision Conference. And I'm sure when uh, Paul Schrempf and everyone returns next week, they'll give us a nice uh, synopsis of what was being said at that sh show and uh, taking place in the Precision Ag Marketplace. Um, and myself, I actually was on the road earlier this week as well. I was up in uh, the Milwaukee area visiting with some folks. And for those that I knew, I'd like to say it was good to see you again. And for the new folks that I met, the pleasure was mine. Thank you very much for uh, indulging me. Um, looking to the market, uh, we have been following, of course, the DuPont Dow merger news for several episodes now. And uh, the latest news on that front uh, came out earlier this week. Uh, the St. Louis Post-Dispatch was reporting that uh, because of potential antitrust concerns, DuPont is considering selling one of its businesses that manufactures herbicides. Uh, supposedly, if that is the route the company decides to take, uh, potential buyers are being mentioned as BASF or FMC, perhaps. So we'll follow that as well. Uh, on the uh, more an eternal note, um, this is the time of year when we're taking votes actively for our product of the year for Crop Life Iron Magazine. And as of this morning, we have uh, had over 550 votes cast, uh, and the sprayers are actually leading the pack at the moment, the uh, Mako 440 from GVM and the Patriot 25th Anniversary Edition from Case IH. Um, but obviously there is still time. We will be taking votes all the way through October 28th. So if you feel the other three products uh, in the, the nomination process, the uh, Norwood uh, Tender, um, the Dual Lift LB1 Wagon, or the John Deere Spreader are more worthy than the two leaders, um, please cast your ballots at the uh, web address you'll see on the screen now. And uh, please don't say that we haven't warned you, so I don't want any uh, accusations of having rigged the voting after the fact. And finally, this is the time of year when we're preparing to do our December issue, which will contain our annual Crop Life 100 report. This will be the 33rd year we're doing that. Uh, folks have been asking me on my travels what the numbers are looking like. Won't lie, they are going to be down. Uh, the matter, the question is, is how far they're actually going to come down off the 30.4 billion dollar mark that we had in 2015. Um, I know I have in about 80 of the forms at this point, uh, but I'm obviously still missing about 20. So if you have a form uh, sitting on your desk or in your inbox, uh, please try to get it to me by the 28th of October, so we can include your information in our final tally boat. Um, that's all I have this week for you. So I'm Eric Sulagoy. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon.